Hello and welcome to Monkey's Paper Palooza Craft Corner. Today we are going to be doing a demo of the Wendy Vici Make Art Station. It is a new magnetic platform that Ranger has developed with Wendy Vici for great for stenciling as well as positioning and adhering things. So this is it. It's basically a 12 by 12 mat. with some grids on it and it comes with six pieces four magnets you get these four big stainless steel covered magnets as well as a magnetic ruler and of course the magnetic board itself so it's a great tool if you are a stenciler if you work with die cuts that you want to position positioning tools like this was one of the stencils that we're going to be using today and i'm going to show you how it is a great tool for this because in the past what we've had to do is tape it and hold it down but with this you can take the tape totally out of the equation and the magnetic board actually makes it really easy for aligning and making sure your stencil is straight so let me get this aligned and then we can show you exactly what I mean by that. So I can line up my stencil and line up my paper. Place these magnets down on both my paper and my stencil. And what's nice is I can move my magnets as I'm stenciling. So let's say I want to get that corner of that paper and not have a tape edge. I can move my magnet wherever I want on the image. Sorry, I have a little bit of silver residual of my cold. And I can do it around. So let me just get some ink on this thing. Sorry that the board is sliding around a little bit. It's not meant to be coarse put on top of a glass mat, but for this purpose today, I'm just showing you what it can do as a positioning tool for your stencils and also for gluing and adhering die cuts and other products. See, like I said, you can move it around and still hold your stencil around as you move around, which is kind of a cool technique because honestly, anybody who has stencils uses stencils and knows Taping it down, sometimes you miss spots, you can't move your tape around, it'll adhere to the paper, and it just makes a mess. So this is a great tool for that. So now that I've cut down my paper where I want it, let's talk about using this as a positioning tool also. Let's say I want to position some vellum on this. I can use my little ruler, as well as these magnets, Use my grids to center it where I want it. And then if I want to put it, let's say, quarter way through the card, I just line it up, my ruler, and it gives me a way to position my piece on a straight line without my stuff moving around. So if I was just adhering this to it, I could lay it down, adhere it, move forward. So instead of having to tape down my pieces and get everything placed and lined up and find a ruler to line this up on it, this helps you with that aligning. So a great alignment tool as well as that. So let's say I want to add ribbon to it and I want to go halfway up. So let's just grab a piece of ribbon here, just a spool to start with. Just to show you, actually, let me grab one that is already started because we don't want to take time opening up our package or ribbon here. But let's just say, here's one. I could add adhesive to this and just line it right up and be exactly where I want to be on the card. So great way, like I said, for aligning pieces on there. Now, that's not the only thing this could be good for. As you have seen, I sometimes have die cuts that I glue on to pieces. So let's just say I 
die cut a piece out and I put glue on it and I want to make sure it adheres to it because the glue is still wet and the pieces could still move and I want to hold it in place. So if I die cut, let's just say this discover and I wanted to glue it down, I could place these magnets right on top of the die cut and hold it down while it's adhering and while the glue is drying. So let me just cut out friend from the Altenew Simply die collection. And if I were to add glue and a ribbon to align it, I could do so with this tool without minimal tape involved here. So I'm going to, of course, use this purple because it will look better on it than any of the other colors. So I'm going to cut a piece of purple and we're going to put some adhesive on it. Usually I can do this a little straighter than I did, but we got some adhesive on it. So now I'm going to take my ruler and align it exactly where I want it on the card. So about what about right here? And I can use that ruler to place that in a straight line without my piece moving around on me. And what's nice is I just move my magnets out of the way. And I can align my ribbon now exactly where I want it and trim it down without having to retape and do stuff, which is kind of a cool technique because we all know with our other mats, we to really get it aligned, we have to like literally tape down the piece or hope that we've got it straight because if pieces move around and this is nice to keep your pieces stationary while you are doing this so let's get that so let me get some glue all right so i'm going to use my nuvo precision glue pen and i'm going to put some glue on this let me move my non-stick mat a little bit more into the video for you guys that's a nice thing about this one on the tim holtz mat is you can just move this wherever you want on the glass mat it doesn't have to stay in that white section that way you can see me putting the glue on so just adding the glue onto this friend die cut now we all know when we glue things on there sometimes the glue is wet and while it's drying it needs to be held down and put into position and stay flat so that you get a nice even adhering of your die cut because you don't want your die cut to be up in some areas and have to re-glue it and like I said once again I could make sure this is straight if I wanted to if I want to make sure it's just this distance from the ribbon I can line it up and make sure we're straight I'm going to shift it over just a tad bit or I adhere it all the way down. And now here's the magic. I can put my magnets on top of it and let it dry. So you've seen my other videos. Usually when I had wet glue like this, I would take out my trusty Cricut mat and do the same kind of progress. But this saves me from having to do that because now I can go work on other pieces of the card and just let these magnets do their job holding down the piece for me. And if I want to hold it down more evenly, I could even use the magnetic ruler. So that's one good thing about this mat. So I will say it's not an all purpose mat, it is a magnetic painted mat. And it's not going to be made for everything. It is great for stenciling. It is great for putting down die cuts. It is great for doing stuff. But you have this coating on there and a little bit of a grid that is raised. So it's not smooth like a glass mat. It's not going to be something I would use harsh chemicals on. Probably nothing more than pigment or dye inks. This ruler is basically a basic magnetic ruler. It's not waterproof. It's not. It does have a center uh, point at it, so it's easy for you to center your piece or find the center of your mat, whether you go it this way 
or you flip it around and do it the other way. So if you really want to center your piece, it would be easy to use that to find your center line. So it is a great tool to have with your mat. And yes, Tim Holtz does have one with his glass mat. But unlike his glass mat, like I said, these are the grids are underneath. So it's not going to rub off. It's not going to go away. That grid is always going to be there no matter what chemical, what cleaner you use on it. And whatever substance you use on the, this mat will withstand it. Whereas this mat is not as, I don't know, say, indestructible, <laughs> almost as a glass mat. I believe you could probably heat set on it, though I don't know whether the paint would chip after a while with the heat constantly on it, but it is metal. So it can withstand the heat, unlike the craft mats. But let's see, look at how good that held that down. And it, it's still a little tacky in some spots, so I might hold it down a little bit more. But you can even move your magnets around as parts dry and get a more thing. So let's talk about these magnets. Now, we've used the magnets on the Missy, and we used the magnets on the Tim Holtz platform. And we always heard, don't let your magnets touch. These, they're encased. So what's nice is there's not that pinching hazard. There's not that shatter hazard. It's inside. So even if they did break inside, they're encased in this. And they're felt kind of like a little foam back to them. So they're very soft. So they're not going to mar your products. Plus they're easy to clean because they are that stainless steel in that foam back. So you can wash them up if you need to. So there, look at how nice these are. And I have to say they're very easy to pick up because they are not super duper strong, but they are not very weak either. So they're a great kind of magnet that for what you need. It does contain two holes and there is mounting hardware where I believe is for mounting into a table surface. If you wanted to make sure your station did not move around and wanted to be sturdy, you could probably screw it into a table. Or if you had hanging things, you probably could hang it up using those holes. If you had some nails, you could probably just slide it on top of the nails and hang it up. Um, so for that fight feature, I know it did come in with some screws and some anchors with it, so I'm not sure. I would recommend, of course, cleaning it only with soap and water. Not anything harsh like alcohol or any harsh cleaners because, like I said, the grid is printed on the top and it may take it off. So I have not tested it for that yet, but I'm just looking at it um, iffy about using harsh cleaners. Now this, like I said, I'm not concerned. The grid's underneath, it's smooth. I can use alcohol, I can use whatever chemical I want on this. I would not feel as safe with this only because of that grid being printed on it versus underneath the glass, which of course, is the wonders of the glass mat. It gives you a lot more versatility. But if you do not use harsh chemicals and you stencil and you do a lot of die cut placement, this mat may be for you. If you use alcohol inks and glitter paste and stuff like that, unharsh glues, I mean, I probably wouldn't use glitter paste on this only because I'd be afraid that it would stick to the mat. It's not a non-stick surface. It is easy to clean, but it's, like I said, not non-stick. So there's that chance that the glitter paste might stick to your mat if you don't get it off fast enough. So I probably wouldn't use this for glitter paste. I'd be using it more for dye-based inks and pigment inks versus anything that's chemical glue-like or sticky that would stick to it. But it is a good tool for other purposes if you are basically just using it for stenciling and or, you know, like I said, placing die cuts in alignment. So it's a nice little tool to have. Like I said, these grids are raised. And that would be the one thing that would concern me with anything that is sticky like adhesive or glitter paste or, you know. Plus, I don't know how it would stick to the foam on the back of your magnets. But if you're using like Distress Oxides or dye base ink or even a pigment ink, I think you wouldn't have any issues because those inks are easy to clean up with water. So 
just a little food for thought if you're thinking of buying this for using your alcohol inks or glitter paste or mixed media. Probably not the mat to use for that. But it is great for other purposes. And it's nothing wrong with having more than one mat in your collection. Have a glass mat for doing your messy crafts and have this for your simple little die cut alignments and card making and stenciling. Nothing wrong with it. It's fantastic for that. And it's a very inexpensive tool. Now, I've seen them price anywhere from $16 to $28, 29 Now, it all depends where you buy it. Coupons you have. I got mine from Blitzy for about $16. And what's nice is on the back, it is not double-coated. But if you did hang this on your wall, let's just say you have it hung. And you want to display a card that you just made. You can even use these magnets to put your panel or your card on and display it. So it is kind of a nice little way to display cards too, if you wanted to. So a nice little thing about the back side of it. It's a very nice mat for doing your craft techniques on. Like I said, I bought this one just to try out because I really wanted to see what it had to offer. Because I do use a lot of stencils and I do love blending on top of stencils. And I've always had the struggle of my pieces moving around, things not working out right, you know, tape letting go. And I just was wondering... Would this make it more simple? Because honestly, it's the same thing basically as your stamping platform. The magnets hold it in place while you stamp on it. And you probably could even stamp on this. If you use wooden stamps, you could use those magnets to hold it down, put your paper underneath it, and stamp it. And it would hold it in place and you wouldn't have the chance of your paper slipping or moving or just displacing as you stamp it. If you use a stamp of a jig, you could probably hold it down and then your paper down and then use your stamp -a jig and stamp your image on it. So it's a great little tool for stampers and card makers, scrapbookers, anybody who uses, needs something to hold down their piece while they're working on it. And to me, that's just worth a hundred things too, because I could be using this, I could use my glass mat for a messy substance. And if I wanted to hold down a die cut onto a card, like I just did, I could put this out on the side because it's small enough, it's only 12 by 12, I could put it on the other side of my tin hole sink, hold down my pieces while it's gluing, and still be able to work on my glass mat. And like I said, there are ways to do it on glass mats. You know, if you don't want to purchase an extra tool, you have a limited space. Like, I use sometimes my <laughs> sticky craft thing for alignment. I'll line it down on there and then just stick this on there. And use that as my ruler. The one bad thing though, sometimes it does slip around because of course it's glass and it's slippery. But <clears throat> if I wanted to do it for quick alignment, I could. The other purpose on this would be to tape it down and align it on your grids. But if you don't want to use tape, you just want to be able to move things around quickly, do things quickly, this is a great little tool to have in your collection. And you can never have too many different types of tools. I will continue to say that over and over again. You can never have too many tools in your craft room. I don't care how many people say, I only need this one craft mat. Honestly, there's different needs, different desires, different things you do with it. That having an extra piece that works good on one thing and having something that works good on another is totally worth having both. Because if I want a stencil, this is the one I'm going to go for. If I want to do mixed media, I'm going to go for my glass mat. So depending on my project, depending on what I'm working on, having the right tool is sometimes a plus. So I wouldn't hesitate in buying this. This is not like an expensive thing where it costs $60 that it's going to be, it's going to break your bank to have both. It's not. I mean, Ranger prices them at retail 20 bucks for them, you know, but I'm sure as they get them in some of the major craft stores and with your coupons, you can get them for a lot less. So definitely something to think about as you're buying this. 
So if you like this video, please check out the last uploaded video, as well as one specially curated just for you. And like always, we welcome you to like, subscribe, and ring for notifications, as well as check out our website, as well as our Instagram and Facebook pages.